Good morning. Um, clearly it's morning. I thought it would be fun today to do a day in the life. Yes, already my dog crying because she thinks I'm going to sit down at my desk and whenever I edit, she likes to sit behind me. So if she thinks I'm about to sit down, she's gonna cry and whine. I'm not sitting down, girl. Just grab my camera. Anywho, like I said, I thought it'd be fun to maybe do a day in the life like home vlog. And today is Tuesday. Yesterday was Monday, the, it was President's Day, so the boys head off school and they just left for school. Mike just left for work. He had to go into the office today and has some like meetings and stuff planned. So it's just me in the house by myself. So I'm interested to see if this is interesting or not or boring to you guys. I have no idea. Um, but let's go. So I am just finishing up with some laundry because of course I, we do laundry at night. I don't know if you're like me, but we tend to leave it <laughs> drier, run another cycle in the morning, and then I can fold it all and put it away. Um, we had all of our workout clothes and like stuff on the drying rack. So let's put it away. Okay, clothes put away. I have a few things on the agenda today. One, I need to get dressed, clearly, and ready. There's Winnie. Hi, baby girl. So Luke had left a liquid death tea, I guess, out, which has agave on it. And we now have fruit flies, so yay. So I just built this contraption to try and track them. They said put a little bit of apple cider vinegar in a glass, put plastic wrap, like put a few little holes and attract them so i see a couple that are not in there like this one on my pole there there's two by this fruit this fruit is brand new so it's not obviously from that so i need to attract them because i am very frustrated that these fruit flies are now in my house but so agenda so i did that check I'm gonna clean the kitchen. I need to walk the dogs. I need to work out. I need to, oh, vacuum. And I think I'm gonna clean my floors. I don't know. The days that Mike goes into the office and I have the house to myself, A, it is nice because it's like super quiet because he's very much, he loves to have like a TV on in every room <laughs> and I'm, very much like sometimes I like music but I usually unless I'm working out I usually don't have a TV on um, I just like the calm and quiet um, or I'll listen to like a podcast or something but I can get a lot done because I don't have to work in between like him having meetings because um, he we have an office here that I just showed you that he works in but it's at the front of the house it does have doors but they're like French doors and so it's not like super quiet. Sometimes he'll work in the room and that's a little bit more isolated, um, like our bedroom. And then he's been working out here as well too. So I kind of have to like work in between, depending on if like it's a vacuum or whatever. Like normal stuff is not a big deal, but like I just don't wanna be excessively loud when he's trying to, um, conduct a meeting or like with the dogs like taking them out or I'm trying to do some more like doorbell training our dogs are a hot mess we got them during COVID and they oh, maybe she needs water or food um they just are not what do you need you need water okay and our kids are notorious for leaving half drunk water bottles around the house, so instead of dumping them out, I will use them for the dog bowl. There's one. I'm impressed I'm doing this all one-handed. There you go but the dogs are just very reactive still. So a lot of 
reactive, reactive, no. A lot of reactions to like dogs on TV, when the doorbell rings. They're getting better with like having people over. They're loud kind of in the beginning, then they'll calm down. Then if the kids are running around, they get loud again, which some of that to me, I feel like is normal dog behavior. Like as long as they stop, I'm not, I don't mind that they bark. I just want them to stop. And my golden is getting better at like, um, See, she's crying again. What? I'm allowed to talk to them. I'm in a stool. You can't sit with me. Oh, girls. They just are so needy. <laughs> so. All right, well, let me get dressed and we'll start the day. Yay, I'm dressed. <laughs> actually pulled out a oldie but goodie t-shirt that I've had I think I bought this in like 2016 or 17 at Disney World so yeah I decided to because I do live in fantasy land <laughs> but um, because I am vlogging this day yes sis, I know I just got back inside with the girls they were outside for a little bit um, I decided to curl my little pony I put on some mascara and uh, I look more ready for the day than I usually do. So thank you for that because I am the type of person that can be a little bit uh, <laughs> very, 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 very low maintenance if I'm not going to do anything, which I don't know. Maybe I should take better care of myself. But anyways, the girls are going a little crazy. I might actually take them for a you-know-what, a W-A-L-K, because I need them to kind of chill out a little bit. And it is nice outside. This <laughs> Girls, are you not being nice? Be kind. Hey, Belle, Belle, love your sissy. Love your sissy. This one's the alpha. She's the leader. She's just a big baby, huh, Winnie Pooh? You're just a big baby. <laughs> um, but the weather has been really nice here now the last couple days. It was really cold. I'm trying to get my watch so I can see the temperature. Oops, let's see. So it's 55 degrees outside, but the sun is out. It's really nice. So I think I might take them for a walk just to get a little bit of these like, uh, energy zoomies out and then I can start kind of cleaning and doing the day. So I did pull out this sweatshirt too. I found it in my hallway closet. I think this is, I think a lot of this stuff is from like 2017, 18. Girls, you sound like you're being mean. Be gentle, love, love. See, Winnie could totally take her out, but she just. <sighs> Get two dogs, they said. It will be fun, they said. Come on, all right. Let me put my sneakers on because I am still in my slippers and uh, take them for a walk. Let's go get sneakers. I think they're all in my bedroom. And if you've seen any of my packing videos, you've seen my closet before. <laughs> so. Let's see, Mike actually got these for me for Christmas, these on clouds, I do love them. I think I'm actually gonna wear those today because I feel like I'm still kind of breaking them in. They're not as um, like spongy as the Hoka's, which obviously you can tell the base to the Hoka's is like so much bigger. So these are a little bit more like to the ground, but they are super comfortable. And these ones don't have like the laces, so I can just kind of like slip them on. All right, they're on. Let's go for a walk, sis. <laughs> they love it. Oh, you know what? I need my earbuds. Gotta listen to music or a podcast while taking the dogs out. Now, I've been trying to work with them because they get very, very excited. Where's my... need my phone. I usually set this all up before. Oh. 
my Peloton app. I do like the walking on here. Oh my God, Winnie, relax, girlfriend. Outdoor walking. All right. Okay, calm. Let's go, sis. She always does not really want to walk. <laughs> but look at this view. We have such a great neighborhood. This is kind of like our center area. So we've got like soccer fields. We've got a playground back there. There's tennis courts and pickleball courts. So we definitely have a lot to do. I actually took the kids yesterday to play to pickleball. We had like the best time, but um, I'm surprised there's not more people out. I don't usually walk this early in the morning this way, but sis, you can't smell everything. Come on. All right. Okay, we are about 15 minutes into this walk. And I am regretting wearing this sweatshirt now. <laughs> so, it's, with the sun out, it's actually really nice out. I don't know where you guys live, if it's good weather right now. Obviously, this is Austin, Texas, so. Um, but it was really cold and windy and gloomy, like Friday, Saturday, but now it's, getting nice again so hopefully we are moving on to spring because I hate cold weather not that way girl we're walking this way come on sis Woo. lots of big trucks in our neighborhood because it's still a lot of new builds So I'm listening to a podcast and they're talking about Love is Blind. So um, yes, I do watch <laughs> that show. So I just like binged the first, I guess I just dropped the first six episodes of the new season. Um, I would say last week sometime, but I'm all caught up and now I'm just waiting till Thursday until they drop the other ones. But oh, this season is, uh, it is interesting. So comment below if you watch it and uh, what you think of any of the couples possibly it's no spoilers here if you haven't seen it but uh this, this season might actually be pretty interesting so the girls know we turn here for our walk so let's see if they do on their own <laughs> they know all right we're back but of course the doxy doesn't ever go potty on the walks so i have to take them out in the backyard Go potty. <laughs> oh my gosh. So I just went to turn off my walk and realized I keyed in that I was doing a ride. Okay, well, you know, win some, you lose some. But if you are on Peloton, is this me? Oh, my overview, here we go. Um, I'm in as disco, so make sure that you find me and friend me. So with the walk, um, like with my MS symptoms, I'm definitely buzzing. Um, but I feel like I'm more used to it. It now, pretty much within like 15 minutes, sometimes a half an hour of stopping. Oh, she wants to go back out again. So we have bells here for them to ring when they need to go out. You just came back in, sis. Go ahead. She likes to hang out. Our deck is a little bit higher. We call it Pride Rock, of course. And so she likes to hang out on Pride Rock and then bark at people as they walk by. Um, but what I was saying with symptoms is pretty much it'll, they'll go away then. So it's just like keeping my workouts short, not too intense. I usually do like 10, 15 minute classes on the app. Um, I do walk for about half an hour, sometimes like an hour and 20 minutes I'll walk. Um, especially like with one of my girlfriends around the neighborhood, we walk the dogs. For the bike, usually I do like no more than 30 minutes. Usually I try to do like 15 and 20 minute rides. Um, so, but I notice if I can do it and then do like little snippets throughout the day, like can't just work out for a huge chunk otherwise. 
I'm very fatigued. So like yesterday, I was like, go, go, go. At night, I, I was wiped out. Like I was in bed by nine o'clock and that is very strange for me. I actually wanted to go to bed at eight, but my kids go to bed at like nine and nine thirty. So I had to wait for them to go to bed first. And then I just like crashed out. I was so tired. Um, and you can tell it in my voice too. It's called like dysphonia. I definitely get that in my voice when I get worn down. So I did have an MRI um, last week. I have to have them every six months now for them to just kind of compare what was from the last one and see if because um, the medication I'm on, which is Ocrevix, is supposed to stop the progression of MS. So when I went last week, my doctor called me yesterday and told me that they actually found like a small brain aneurysm that wasn't on my MRI last time, which that was not on my 2024 bingo card. So it sounds like super shocking, but my doctor was like, you know, it's, it doesn't show any blockage. Um, you know, people walk around with these unknowingly, you know, it just happens that I get MRIs every six months now, so they are gonna see more things pop up. Um, but I do have to make another appointment, which they're actually supposed to be reaching out to me, the imaging place, to schedule an appointment to do some further imaging, like with contrast, so that way they can make sure that it is just nothing. So, um, or not turn into something, or at least nothing that would be um, like life threatening or whatever, which it doesn't look to be at least, like they said, it doesn't look to be any blockage. And I guess that's what the issue is with aneurysms. So yay, more issues, but I am really trying not to let that, um, like get me down. Like obviously there is emotion behind it, but until I know more, I'm putting a pin in it and like I talked to Mike last night and he's like, oh, should we cancel our trip for spring break? And I do not want to. So I just want to keep moving forward until we hear something else. So, oh, I think my um, apple cider vinegar thing is catching some. Let's see. Oh my gosh, yes. Oh my God, that's so gross. Can you guys see all the ones that are in there? Oh, and they're all flying around here. Die, suckers. Okay, so now it is the glamorous portion of my day where I clean. First, vacuum. Now it's time to dust. Okay, in the middle of dusting, and Aaron just texted me, and last week he had tweaked his wrist, and he forgot to bring his little brace, which he hasn't worn for a couple days. But now he's claiming it hurts. So I need to run up to the school, bring him that, bring him some like ibuprofen, because he says it's hurting. And uh, I guess I have a little break in my cleaning now. All right, girls, I'll be back in just a little bit. I've got all his stuff in here. Grab my bag. You guys, I feel so bad. I was driving that stuff up to Aaron's school and I had it like in this bag and I gave him, he wanted like a lemonade and water so I like made it for him and I did not even seal the lid. So like halfway driving I realize it's spilling everywhere. So his wrist thing that he had was kind of wet. So and of course I only had tissues in the car so I was like trying to like pat it dry and it's still a little wet, so I texted him and told him, I was like, I left your stuff, but your wrist thing's a little wet, so hopefully, I don't know if he really needs it. I think sometimes he just likes to wear it, but it's probably, I don't think he's gonna wanna wear it because it's gonna be like wet or like damp on his wrist, but oh well, I did my best. 
and I have to give you update on these fruit flies. It is disgusting, I'm gonna warn you. Look how many are on there. I'm gonna zoom in. So gross, I never even knew I had this many in my house. It always looked like there was like two or three. So there's a bunch already stuck in there. There's little holes poked on top, so I just need these guys to like get inside and die. But gross. Yes, I hear you, princess. I'm gonna take you out. So, oh, yet again, girls need to go out. Okay, one second. So Luke actually brought home these Lorcana cards um, this weekend. So I guess they're like playing cards and they have lots of different characters and stuff on it. They're all kind of different from like, I guess like rare, legendary, I don't know, I, have, I need to really dig into this. So if that's a game that you or your family plays, um, let me know. Any tips or tricks? We haven't really, like I said, dug into it. I think Noah's really gone into it a lot. <sighs> this is my everyday life, <laughs> so no wonder I don't daily vlog. Sorry, I kind of fell off vlogging a little bit. Ooh, my hair is interesting today. I've just finished kind of cleaning for what I'm doing today and then I came down to do some editing, um, putting together a vlog for Das Pass and kind of just explain that process. And uh, those vlogs are so hard for me and it takes me so long to edit them because I'm so picky. <sighs> so hopefully you guys enjoy it, but um, the girls again are sleeping. Belle is, I don't even know if you can see her, she's so dark heads right here <laughs> she sits behind me um but mike just got home he's doing a meeting and um the kids should be home in about a half an hour make dinner and call the night tonight so i'm probably not going to vlog anymore tonight um this might just be a little snippet vlog i might not even post it i have no idea i just had some feelings today about the whole MS thing and kind of the new findings. Oh, I was actually able to make an MRI appointment for Thursday, so today is Tuesday, so just in a couple days, so that's good. Um, so hopefully I can put my mind completely at ease for that and move on. And I have a girl's trip coming up this weekend, which I'm so excited. It's my uh, really good friend Heather, it's her birthday. And believe it or not, I have never been like away for a girl's weekend. <laughs> ever so I am very excited um got some special things for her and just want to I don't know the weather's supposed to be perfect so we're doing like a wine tour type thing so I need to pack and or figure out even what I'm going to pack and uh, we're driving so luckily I can overpack if I need to and deal with it when I get there but thanks so much for watching today, and if you enjoy it, comment below if you want to see more of these kind of sprinkled in. And we'll see you next time. Go live your disc goals. Bye.